I'm just gonna let y'all know now, the wind's kind of busting out here. It ain't doing it right now. But in case you hear whoosh, my apologies. Roll the clip. Peeps up and down the city, I don't try to come for me. Hey. All right, so what's up? Welcome back. You're a winner, baby. Happy birthday, RuPaul. Look at this piece. Subscribe, thumbs up, promise you're gonna love it. Click the post notification bell, yell, yell, yell. Okay, so if you read the title, you should know what you're getting into. This is a video about Issa Twins and LaRae and their friendship. If you're not familiar with who these people are, get out from under the rock. Issa Twins was really popping off on the YouTube scene for about five, six years. Super funny kid, super just adorable. Like, he just, he just, he was popping, right? His best friend, LaRae, comes along. LaRae starts doing YouTube and they on the scene and they killing it. They, uh, uh get money uh uh like that was really out here doing it and then all of a sudden uh isa kind of fell off the face of art <laughs> isa kind of went through some things he's back now he's kind of spoke on a little bit about what happened and why he just left youtube for like a year or two somebody fact check me down in the comment section down below when Issa left, everybody was just kind of left to kind of speculate what happened. And unfortunately, a lot of people thought that Lorray maybe did something to make Issa want to leave. Well, that wasn't really the case because Issa started first and then Lorray came along. It wasn't that Lorray just kind of like, oh, bye, Issa, I don't have time for you anymore. It was kind of more the other way around. Now, uh, this is where it gets kind of sticky. Issa kind of went through some things, went through a little bit of depression, and he admitted himself um, that, you know, he, he got jealous of LeRae. And I'm, that's not the full reason of why he left, but it was a big part of it. And for a while, this he kind of let this narrative go on that LeRae uh, just started hanging out with a bunch of white YouTubers and he forgot all about Issa. I'm gonna start dead. Issa ghosted me. Well, I feel like there can be many reasons people ghost their best friend, but for my reason, I would say it was most definitely um, depression, comparing myself to you, because I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, and you were just kind of like skyrocketing into this amazing, powerful, entertaining, iconic, talented superstar, and- All these compliments on the kiss show I asked. So. Shut up. Instead of- me deciding to think about all the positive things I just mentioned, I tended to look at the negative side of things, which was me thinking I'm not good enough, me just like, oh, like I'm a piece of shit because my best friend is popping. Like, that's just like goofy energy. It's goofy. To all the people who made those disgusting TikToks and left disgusting fucking rumors and thinking y'all know point A, point B, point C, point D, y'all knew none of the above. I'm sorry. Because all the comments that were like, Oh, Lorray just like started hanging out with the Hype House and a bunch of white people and like just left his best friend. Girl, I'm the one who didn't fucking pick up how many calls? How many times did Shark call me, friend? Do y'all know how I many times? every day for six months. Every day. I'm so happy, y'all. Like, I can't tell you like how happy this shit makes me feel. Like, this is like the realest love like I've ever felt. Like, to be, to just like reunite with your best friend after like having such like murky, like it was just giving murky. It was it mud. Stuff. Swap. Focus on the love. Don't compare yourself to your best friend or anyone that you love. Especially when your best friend is your biggest fucking fan and supporter. Exactly. Bitch. Enjoy the video! I'm gonna leave now! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> My voice is getting high because I'm anxious! <laughs> Look, depression is very hard to work with. I'm not saying that Issa, you know, let that narrative go on on purpose, but that's what happened. Okay, so fast forward, a year or two later, Issa is back, reunited with his best friend, Lorraine, and I hope to see more content. But I have to be honest, is this friendship the best thing for them? Only they could answer that, but I, I kind of, it's kind of touchy. It's great that Issa was able to come back and and admit that yeah I ghosted my friend with with no explanation and and I did that because I was jealous that is a sign of growth I'm glad that he's in a place a healthier place that he was in before and I mean that takes a lot of guts to get on the internet and admit that you were jealous of someone in, in such a deep depression over somebody else's success um, 
my thing is look it's very natural to get jealous of your friends that's a normal reaction we all like to claim i ain't jealous of nobody i'm happy for everybody no but it's just a natural reaction and especially in this space imagine being a popping off youtuber and then you kind of like come on friend you can do it come on and and you kind of even just on a subconscious level think okay i'm gonna be kind of like their sensei like i'm always gonna be bigger than them like you might not be thinking it in a in a mischievous way but on some level because you're already up here and you're telling like come on let's go you're not expecting for this person to just zoop you're gonna be like well hold on well, wait a damn minute because love ray blew up he blew up so like he's huge on tiktok too love ray is so funny but Issa is also so funny but sometimes you know look it's just kind of the luck of the trade some people just blow up quickly some people are just in the chamberlains and they just take off in five minutes and then you have other uh, you know youtubers that are around for for a while like luscious massacres but now they're doing it forever but it took years and now he's out here doing makeup for freaking hbo people and doing stuff for for drag race all-stars i mean everybody's got their own timeline but anyways i i, I digress let's get back to Issa and loray i am not sure that there is a way to come back from that i'm glad that they've made up but who's to say Issa that you're not gonna get jealous of Larray again and spiral again you got to think about your mental health too not only just Larray thinking about well you did how do I know you're not gonna ghost me again how do I know that you know you're not gonna throw me under the bus I don't think that twames Issa I don't think Issa is coming back for clout I don't think Issa is coming back out of spite I, I don't think so but you still have to keep that in mind because you quit now not to say that you quit YouTube with the intentions of never coming back but you came back and one of the first thing you do is collab with your best friend who's super successful who's still popping who's still out here doing it and I just I hope it's not this but y'all you know you got to look at it from all angles are you coming back because you after you pulled yourself out of your depression and you looked at it and you're like okay now what am i gonna do am i gonna go back to youtube where i can still kind of you know revamp my career or am i just gonna leave social media behind and start something completely new where you spent a lot of look they're still basically kids they're in their early 20s but you spent a lot of your years where most of us are thinking about what do we want to do what path and you start a career you spent a lot of those years popping off on social media now you have to turn around and make up for and not to say that you weren't thinking about a backup plan but now if you don't go back to social media right you really got to start over so it's like okay let me try to get back into the social media thing and when you do that because you ghosted everybody because you ghosted your best friend in front of everyone now you have to ask yourself okay am i gonna come back and publicly address the uh, what actually happened between me and Lorraine, or i'm gonna keep our friendship private and just create something new separate from Lorraine. Y'all get what I'm saying? It's a lot to think about and I just want to make sure that both of these little kiddos, I call them kiddos because you know I'm, I'm 30, I'm grown, you know, these some little babies I'm talking about here. I just hope that it's the healthiest thing for both of them. And then for Lorraine, make sure you're not holding on to this friendship. Like it's okay to forgive him. It's okay to even be friends behind the scenes. But it, be careful that you are not latching on to this friendship because for the wrong reasons sometimes we hang on to people out of trauma sometimes we hang on to friends because it's like well you know Issa was there from the beginning we remember so much of the good times that we forget like this person really hurt you he ghosted you you out of jealousy you know this wasn't just like a few weeks of man I can't believe this nigga really passed me up no this was like a whole extended period of time where this person is a spiral because you was in your bag because you was up here you have to really trust that Issa figured out what was the root what was the root of my jealousy towards him why was it that you felt so strongly that you should have been up here whether it was subconscious or how much of where 
whatever it was, when you're jealous of somebody, the base of it is you feel like that should have been you or that should be you. And I'm just trying to figure out how do you clear all of that up? And Issa, you put in all this time and working yourself is this friendship going to be triggering to you? Because I don't see Lorraine slowing down at any time soon. And Lorraine, I don't, if should this fail, I would hate for you to get distracted because the friendship failed yet again. And I would hate for either of these young men to, uh, you know, just gotta go through pain personally or career wise. You know, a little bit of drama obviously helps with the careers and the numbers and the stuff, but it also can ruin your arms, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all share a lot of the same fans. People gonna have to pick and choose. Y'all see what I'm saying? It's just a lot to think about, but I just wanted to point it out because I don't know how, how I feel about, uh, you know, Issa coming back and just, you know, uh, being public with the friendship. Now, I don't know how much he's back, we have to stay tuned and see. Anyways, let me know. Let us know what y'all think about all that drama. It's not drama. But anyways, I wish both these young men well. Make sure you're just really paying attention to your mental health. For everybody, not just them two, but everybody. Just pay attention. Pay attention to why you're hanging on to people and why you're inviting people back into your life. It is okay to forgive. I promote forgiveness. You should forgive for yourself. You don't want to hang on to resentment and, and all of that negativity in your heart. Always forgive people. But it's also okay to not let people come back, if that makes sense. Anyways, that's all that I got to say. Um, Yeah, so go ahead and subscribe and like, comment, share the video. And go check out Twames and Lorray on their channels. Get a good laugh. Follow them on TikTok and all their other socials. Anyways, love you so much. Bye.